The United States Army is the primary land service branch of the United States Armed Forces. It is charged with the preservation of peace and security and the defense of the country. The modern U.S. Army's roots can be traced back to the Continental Army, which was formed on June 14, 1775 to fight the American Revolutionary War between 1775 and 1783. In this video, we will explore all the ranks of the United States Army in descending order of seniority. The United States military uses a rank system that determines the level of responsibility and pay for all service members. In the United States Army as well as in other services, each rank is tied to a pay grade, which consists of E for enlisted, W for warrant officer, and O for officer. Commissioned officers hold the highest ranks in the US Army. These officers hold presidential commissions and are confirmed at their ranks by the Senate. Army officers in the ranks of O1 to O3 are called company grade officers, those in the pay grades O4 to O6 are known as field grade officers, and those in pay grades O7 and above are known as general officers. Let's start with the highest ranking members of the United States Army. The highest rank for generals in the US Army is the rank of general of the Army. This is only used in times of war where the commanding officer must have an equal or higher rank than army commanding officers from other nations. The holder of this rank is referred to as a five-star general. The last officer to hold this rank was Omar Bradley, who served during and immediately after World War II. General. This is currently the highest rank attainable by an officer, besides the wartime-only rank of general of the army. The Army can have a maximum of seven four-star generals at any one time, and they usually have over 30 years of Army experience. A general usually command all operations taking place within their geographical area. Lieutenant General A Lieutenant General usually commands a core-sized unit of 20,000 to 45,000 soldiers, or occasionally serves as a senior staff officer or department head in various domestic and overseas headquarters. Major General The rank of Major General is a two-star general officer rank. They usually command division-sized units of 10,000 to 16,000 soldiers and also have responsibility for major tactical operations, as well as conducting sustained battles and engagements. The lowest rank for general officers in the U.S. Army is the rank of Brigadier General. A Brigadier General is a one-star general officer rank, and the holder of this rank generally serves as the advisor and deputy commander to a major general, assisting with overseeing the staff's planning and mission coordination. Below the ranks for generals are the ranks for field grade officers. The rank of Colonel is the highest field grade officer rank in the US Army. Colonels typically command brigade-sized units, consisting of 1,500 to 3,200 soldiers, with the assistance of several junior commissioned officers and a command sergeant major. They may also be responsible for leading division-level staff agencies and can be identified by a rank insignia with a silver eagle. Lieutenant Colonel a lieutenant colonel generally serves as a battalion commander of a battalion consisting of 300 to 1,000 soldiers. They may also serve as executive officers or staff officers in a variety of high-level units or command posts. The rank insignia for a lieutenant colonel features a silver oak leaf. The rank below lieutenant colonel is the rank of major. Major is the first field officer rank in the United States Army. They usually serve as specialized executive or operations officers for battalion-sized units, but they may also serve as staff officers in high-level command posts. The rank insignia for U.S. Army Majors features a golden oak leaf. 
Next in descending order of seniority are the ranks for company grade officers. The rank of captain is the highest rank for company grade officers. A captain generally commands and controls company-sized units of 60 to 200 soldiers. They may also have teaching roles at combat schools or special training sessions, as well as service staff officers at battalion-level command posts. Captains wear a rank insignia, featuring two silver bars. Below the rank of captain is the rank of first lieutenant. A first lieutenant is an experienced lieutenant with 18 to 24 months of service. They may serve as the platoon leader of a specialized weapons platoon or as the executive officer of a company. The rank insignia for the rank of first lieutenant consists of one silver bar. Second lieutenant. This is the entry-level commissioned officer rank in the United States Army. A second lieutenant is generally placed in command of a platoon consisting of 16 to 44 soldiers, including two or more squads. The rank insignia for the rank of second lieutenant features a golden bar. Following the descending order of seniority are the ranks for warrant officers. There are five warrant officer ranks in the US Army, with Chief Warrant Officer 5 being the highest warrant officer rank. A Chief Warrant Officer 5 is a master-level technical and tactical expert that usually supports brigade, division, corps, and major command operations. They also provide leadership development, mentorship, advice and counsel to other warrant officers and branch officers. The rank insignia of a Chief Warrant Officer 5 features a silver bar with a black stripe in the center. Chief Warrant Officer 4 they are senior-level experts in both the technical and tactical aspects of leading in their respective fields. They typically support operations at battalion, brigade, division, corps, and echelon levels above corps operations. The rank insignia of a Chief Warrant Officer 4 consists of a silver bar with four horizontal black stripes. Chief Warrant Officer 3 they are advanced-level experts who perform the duties of a technical and tactical leader. The responsibilities of a Chief Warrant Officer 3 are to provide guidance, assistance, and supervision required for subordinates to perform their duties. They also support operations from team to brigade levels and can be identified by a rank insignia consisting of a silver bar with three black stripes. Chief Warrant Officer 2 they are intermediate-level experts in both the technical and tactical aspects of leading in their field, and they also perform duties at the detachment through to battalion levels. The rank insignia of a Chief Warrant Officer 2 features a silver bar with two black stripes. The lowest rank for Warrant Officers is the rank of Warrant Officer 1. In order to be appointed as a Warrant Officer 1, Soldiers must be proficient both at leading and their technical specialty. A Warrant Officer 1 usually performs duties including technical leader, trainer, operator, advisor, and manager among other duties. The rank insignia of a Warrant Officer 1 is a vertical silver bar with one black stripe. At the lower end of the US Army rank system are the ranks for enlisted soldiers. The highest rank for enlisted personnel in the United States Army is the rank of Sergeant Major of the Army. However, in a case where an Army enlisted soldier is serving as the senior enlisted advisor to the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, seniority would be given to that enlisted soldier. A Sergeant Major of the Army typically serves as the senior enlisted advisor and consultant to the Chief of Staff of the Army. They are also responsible for overseeing all non-commissioned officers. The rank insignia for Sergeant Major of the Army features three chevrons above three arcs, along with the United States coat of arms and two stars in the middle. Command Sergeant Major The Command Sergeant Major is the senior NCO of the command at battalion or higher levels. They advise and initiate recommendations to the commander and staff in matters pertaining to the local NCO support channel. The rank insignia of a command sergeant major features three chevrons above three arcs, along with a star surrounded by a wreath in the center. Sergeant Major 
A sergeant major typically serves as the senior enlisted advisor to a primary staff officer at the battalion or brigade level. They are usually experts in technical areas and provide advice on policy development, as well as an analytical review of regulatory guidance. The rank insignia for a sergeant major consists of three chevrons above three arcs, along with a star in the middle. First Sergeant A first sergeant generally serves as the senior enlisted advisor of a unit, such as a company, battery, or troop. They also instruct other sergeants, provide advice to their commanders and help with training for enlisted soldiers. The rank insignia features three chevrons above three arcs, along with a lozenge diamond in the middle. Master Sergeant A master sergeant may be assigned as the principal NCO at the brigade level or higher. They are not charged with all the leadership responsibilities of a first sergeant, but are expected to execute leadership and other duties with the same professionalism. Master sergeants wear a rank insignia consisting of three chevrons above three arcs. Sergeant First Class A Sergeant First Class generally has 10 to 15 years of experience in the Army and is typically an NCO, assigned as a platoon sergeant at the company or battalion level. They also have primary responsibilities such as tactical logistics, tactical casualty evacuations, and serving as the senior tactical advisor to the platoon leader. The rank insignia for a Sergeant First Class features three chevrons above two arcs. Staff Sergeant. They typically lead a squad consisting of eight to 16 soldiers and are usually charged with enforcing standards as well as developing and training soldiers in MOS skills and unit missions. A Staff Sergeant's insignia features three chevrons above one arc. Below the rank of Staff Sergeant is the rank of Sergeant. A US Army Sergeant typically leads a team or section. They are also first-line leaders who have the most direct impact on soldiers and oversee their daily tasks. US Army sergeants wear a rank insignia featuring three chevrons. Corporal. The rank of corporal is the base of the non-commissioned officer ranks in the United States Army. They usually serve as team leaders for small army units and are also responsible for individual training, personal appearance, as well as the cleanliness of soldiers. The rank insignia for corporals features two chevrons. Below the rank of corporal is the rank of specialist. Despite holding the same pay grade as a corporal, a specialist is not considered an NCO. The specialist's job is focused on technical expertise and they normally have less personnel leadership responsibilities than corporals. A specialist is eligible for promotion to the rank of sergeant after 11 months' time in rank and 47 months' time in service. The rank insignia of a specialist features a General Service Army Eagle on a patch shaped like a chevron with an arch, often described as an angular inverted teardrop. Private First Class Soldiers in the rank of Private First Class form the basic workforce of the U.S. Army. This is the rank in which junior enlisted soldiers begin the transition from apprentice to journeyman by developing technical and leadership skills. A Private First Class is eligible for promotion after six months' time in rank and 24 months' time in service. The rank insignia for Private First Class features a chevron above an arc. Private E2 Promotion to this rank is the first promotion most enlisted soldiers can earn after completing basic combat training. The job of a private in this rank is to apply the new skills and knowledge learned during basic training and to continue to learn how to follow orders given by higher-ranked supervisors. Soldiers in this rank are eligible for promotion to private first class after four months' time in rank and 12 months' time in service. Their rank insignia features a single chevron. Private E1. This is the lowest US Army rank, which is normally held only by new recruits while at basic combat training but the rank occasionally is assigned to soldiers after a disciplinary action has been taken. 
holders of this rank are eligible for promotion to Private E2 after six months time in service. A Private E1 does not wear a rank insignia. That's all for the ranks of the US Army. Did you know that the US Air Force was a part of the US Army? Originally created in 1907, as a part of the United States Army, it was called the Army Air Corps. This was later changed when the United States Air Force was established as a separate branch of the US Armed Forces in 1947, with the passing of the National Security Act. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our other videos.